Good morning. I'm whispering. I need to talk normally. Okay, I'm up super early. My family's still sleeping. I wanted to film this before they woke up and the living room gets used because, you know, the hub of the house. This was a Facebook marketplace find. It was just the base. I got it not even really intending to use it in my own home, but the coffee table that we had here was not working. It was something I got from Amazon and it was like a damaged, so it had a dent in the top and the box was damaged or whatever, but it was discounted. So I was like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just get that. I like it. I like, and it wasn't that bad, but the second shelf on it, people put their feet on it and broke the, um, the screws that held it and that sort of thing. So it was, it needed, you know, to go. So, um, when I was downstairs working on another project, I saw this tucked in the corner and I was like, oh yeah, I could use that as our coffee table. And voila, um, some, a, a new coffee table that probably cost me uh, less than $35, probably, I would say. So with that, let's get into the video. This week, I am doing something for me. Now, I have the foam, I have the backing, and I have upholstery material, all that I got from a thrift store for less than $20 total. Like, I think the material was like $8, batting was eight dollars actually I tell a lie the um, foam I got from Lowe's the batting and the material was less than twenty dollars that was very cool that was a cool find I have some leftover MDF so I'm gonna measure and cut some MDF to go on top of this I'm going to measure the foam to go on top of this as well put batting over it put the upholstery over it somehow attach the wood to this metal frame i'm going to be painting this metal frame in dixie bell's french linen i have it left over from my dresser spray painting it would be an easy option when do i ever do anything that's easy one i want to use what i already have and two i really like the french linen color it's just beautiful so let's get started. A bit of scuff sand and then I'm going to wipe it down with TSP and get rid of the TSP with some water. Nothing. I don't even know why I'm scuff sanding that because I'm not going to be painting that. <laughs> the top is going to be on there. paint you can actually you can actually paint metal not just wood you can uh, paint laminate you can paint I don't know a whole bunch of other things it's a very good paint for multiple surfaces I'm using my um, oh, it's very sad uh, my zebra brush, uh, square brush. Okay, easy peasy wax, dry lint free cloth so it says <clears throat> shake well spray a light mist on a two by two foot section spread evenly with a clean dry cloth let soak in dries in 30 minutes uh, so I'm not gonna antique wax tonight I'm gonna just spray this on and then be done Oh, 
put the um, spray wax on last night. So now I'm just going to use the uh, Krylon wax that I still have that's going to last me forever. Dabbing on a cloth and testing in the corner because, oh yeah, I wasn't confident that when I was spraying the wax on it was actually going on here but that's that's working really good. So I was doing that because see there, um, because it was a glass table, and the people that I got it from, I assume broke the glass and then didn't have a need for the base. The glass was screwed on top of that when I got it. Didn't have glass, and I was going to grind the those little screw things off. But I'm going to work with them. <laughs> instead of doing an extra step well it's an extra step in a different way I'm going to drill holes where I just tapped I made indentations in the in the MDF and so I'm going to drill a hole in all of those eight spots and then I'm going to sit it down on top of the, the base and then underneath the base I'm going to put cup hooks I think that's what they're called I'll show you I, I don't have them yet I've got to go to Home Depot or it blows and attach it that way underneath so the MDF stays on the base. That's the plan for now. That's what I came up with. Let's see if it works. Yay!
Okay, so the um, foam on this is pretty firm. I am not going to get fancy and sew fabric, like, you know, sew the side, like do a top panel and then sew the side panel so it has a nice seam and plus I don't have a sewing machine. I barely passed home ec in <laughs> Australia <laughs> when I was at high school so I <laughs> love woodworking class a lot better than I liked home ec but there you go. But I do know how to staple and, <laughs> and so that is upholstering to me so that's what I'm going to do. I'll be using my arrow staple gun. It's great. I love it and it's, it's really simple to use. Let's do that. I am just going to flip this upside down so if you've never upholstered before um, you always start in the middle and you'll see when I'm doing it, you start in your middle and you work your way to the edges. Pull it nice and tight on the opposite side, start in the middle, work my way to the edges. And same for these two. We need to get rid of all of this excess. We don't want it bunching up. There's no way to make it all pretty. So what we're going to do is get this bottom piece of fabric right here out of the way and we're going to pull this top fabric nice and straight and I'm going to cut along the edge until I get to the corner. Okay? I'm going to stop there. We're going to now fold that out of the way and it becomes the bottom fabric. And I'm going to pull this over and it becomes the top fabric and I'm going to cut along near this edge to the same place, making sure I'm not cutting the material underneath. Okay, so now we have these two folds and this squarish sort of fabric where your cuts sort of meet. Okay, and now I'm just going to cut from where they meet that way out. Okay. Right, now we've got all the excess out the way, I'm going to staple, I'm going to do this one actually, all the way to the edge. Pushing it in like a present and pulling it over, you get a nice straight tucked edge. And I'm going to pull it and staple it. that along there 
just to keep everything nice and tight and I have a hole under there that I need exposed so I'm going to cut a little X where it will be Super simple flip today. Uh, it didn't take me very long actually. I was doing it while I was doing another project. Next week's flip, I have not started yet, but maybe by the time I'm editing, I would have started it. I will insert the clip uh, for you. Uh, I have an idea. Uh, it was, it's probably going to be uh, a dresser, but um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'll start working on it. Uh, this afternoon or tomorrow afternoon. I hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe consider subscribing, that would be amazing. I hope to see you guys on that video next week. Bye guys. <laughs>